Okay, starting work for the day. Wes is over. What's the plan? Um, I just drank some coffee, got rid of my little mild headache, and I'm ready to get after it. Um, we're gonna put up your uh, little barn door in front of your your uh, bathroom today. Awesome. What's the first step? Get tape measure, measure some stuff, and get the initial header put in place. Let's do it. All right. Hello everybody. So there has been a lot going on since the last video. So the door is all installed, ready to go. We've caught a little bit of a slow up with the process. So what do we got going on today? We're installing the uh, diesel heater chimney flue. So we are back here getting this guy or all sorted out. So Brett, the place where I'm staying, he does a lot of automotive work. So we've got a fuel line figured out right now what Wes is determining is how we are going to go through the wall because this is the flue for the diesel heater but the issue is solar panels are right up here and this has to have a certain amount of vertical rise before it has any bends which is the 45 and so it'll 45 out right through here straight to the side then a 45 going vertically and that's how it'll be set up. So what'd you determine out there? So I determined like from the out, outside, this radius that is cut in this little spacer block to allow for the uh, ceiling contour or the roof contour. Um, so it'll sit flat out there. 13 inches from the top of this window is roughly where it needs to be outside. So that's roughly here. So we're gonna have to cut a little bit off of this to lower this 45 down to the center hole here and uh, cut this board on, of course. So what he's holding right there actually goes on the outside. The manual actually called for a wooden piece. Uh, Wes's friend, Randy, made that for us. And also, uh, before I head out, probably gonna be converting Kobuk's kennel area, but I'll touch more on that. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. I've been reselling on eBay while Wes figures out some stuff, which he's still figuring out apparently. <laughs> there's, there's big news coming. I don't know which way it's going or not, but yeah. So I've just been doing the reselling thing. So tons of stuff for eBay, just going to garage sales, thrift stores. I'm basically stockpiling all this video game stuff right now. Christmas is coming up. So when I get to Arizona, start selling some of this, I did put a Wii system probably had about 30 35 dollars invested into what i sold and i sold it for 105 dollars and i'm hoping to replicate that with all these systems because i have ooh, almost dropped that i have six of these wii consoles right now with a ton of remotes and then over here this is all pretty much just video games so what i'm doing is going to garage sales buying these consoles and video games people just wanting to get rid of them and then I am testing them, testing the games, testing the remotes, and then flipping them local. So I'm not actually shipping it into to eBay or other people because there's a lot of scams out there. So I'd rather just do it on Facebook. And then I'm just gonna sell all these as a kit, but it's getting a little bit more chilly here. So we're gonna get this installed before I head out. Probably got, what, six, seven days before I'm gonna yeah. be heading out. Yeah. So we're getting started on this, so we will 
get some shots of how this process goes. Now we're gonna basically create a mounting bracket to mount this diesel tank. This, this holds the diesel fuel for the diesel heater. We create a bracket that goes on top of one of his cabinets in there and this will mount in place. So basically we're gonna take a piece of, I don't know, four or five inch wide steel, have a little standoff here to support the back end of the tank and have a few holes in it to put some, you know, to mount it onto the top of your, your tank. Absolutely. Or, or your cabinet, I guess. So this setup is like this. So this tank can be removed. I can take it outside. This is the like, diesel fill. Yeah, ba basically this will just slide into this, and this will be a nice flat plate. So it'll slide out. Take it out. Unscrew this. Fill it full of diesel. Pop it back in. Like so. And Brett's gonna get some quick disconnect uh, braided hose that can just go to it. Sounds like a plan. GoPro's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wes, what's the plan for today? Drilling holes. So you can start to see it's starting to come together with the stainless piping. Looks really good. It's got some workout clothes up there plugging the hole right now. So going through, I'm uh, going to put a couple uh, screws in there so it doesn't flex around. And also have the fuel source up here. Brett was nice enough to clean it out a bit and just gonna mount it up there. Then a line coming from this tank, this actually came from Jim. He had some old, uh, is I forget what era it was, but it was military food heaters. And this was the fuel tank for that. It's gonna repurpose that. Then a line just running down into the heater. Sound like a plan? Plant <laughs> parts. What's, what's that? And here's the part. Oh, cool. So is that the above, fuel the line? Thing? Well, that's just to, to get to the tank. Now I got that hard line. Like I say, the only thing we're missing is the uh, quick connection. I ordered them oh. last night. So Yeah, let me but know I'll, how much I did it on three cash. Don't worry about it. I was telling him for the time being, just to, I mean, if you get your water supply hooked up, we could actually, I've got a little bottle in there where you could feed, you know, fill that line full of fuel, at least try to fire it, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, just to see. Be fun, fun so the fire going. Brett had the idea of actually using a flexible line for the disconnect. So the disconnects will be able to, so when it's up here, be able to have that flexible line, disconnect it, move it out of the way. And then this Back will, there. You know, and this flexible line will come down and connect to a hard line that hard runs line. all the way down to here. And that's where you feed your fuel. And then Brett had this little pin which will pull out and then I'll be able to take this off, remove it. And this is a little over uh, one point, well, it's 1.3 gallons per 24 hours. This is a little over a gallon. So each fill of this will be about 24 hours on low. 
and that's 15,000 BTU plus the radiant floor heating. So I think it'll work pretty well. Squishing it with my finger. And if it did bite you, I mean, could be trouble. Hang on one sec. Battery.